Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're featuring a song from Sir Paul McCartney from 1979. It's called Wonderful Christmas Time. It's one of my favorite seasonal Christmas songs. Why? Well, because it features an interesting synthesizer part. And it's one that I get requests from from time to time, people trying to imitate this song, especially this time of year as we end 2021 and head into 2022. On the Nord Stage 3, we'll feature the main synth part along with the high string part accompanying that on a split. Then as a bonus, I want to demonstrate this particular sound on the Nord Electro 6 of all things. We don't think of the Electro 6 as a synthesizer. We think of it more of a synth or sample player. And what we're able to do is pretty interesting on the Nord Electro 6. So some limited use there, but it will get the job done if you're looking for that main sound on the Electro 6. Without further ado, let's play this on the stage three and see how you can get the sound for your own keyboard. All right, let me demo this on the Nord stage three and then I'll talk about it briefly and highlight some of the interesting parts. Okay, so what's happening here? Now, before I get too much further, if you want this sound for your own Nord Stage 3, Merry Christmas, you can go right now to the Nord User Forum and download this sound for your Nord Stage 3. I'll put a link below this video. And once you get there, you'll want to download it. Then you'll use the Nord Sound Manager to install it on your keyboard, and you'll get something similar to what you see here. In fact, this particular sound that you're looking at, what I've named Wonderful Xmas, is actually based on that original sound. So thank you very much for the person who created this. Uh, your contributions are much appreciated here for this video. But I have tweaked it to my own liking. I didn't really change the sound much. I might have changed where the split is, and I might have changed some other things. The one notable thing I changed was I introduced a control pedal morph so that as I push the pedal down, it adjusts the delay, not the tempo, but the subdivisions. Let's take a moment and talk about the digital delay on this particular sound. It is such a main part of the sound, and it's the one part that I really tweaked from the original. And what's happening here is I've got it synced to the master clock, and because it's synced to the master clock, that allows me to change the subdivisions of the delay and I'm using the morph of a control pedal, this control pedal here, as I move forward on the control pedal, it's changing the subdivisions of the delay. I won't show you how to set all of that up, but I will just show you the actual end result of that. Here's the first time through you play it. You'll note those are eighth notes. So if I move forward on the pedal, it will, in a sense, increase the amount of repetitions or the increments and it will sound like this. So pedal in this position, pedal forward. So another powerful feature of the Nord Stage 3, the ability to morph with a control pedal and you can morph the subdivisions of your delay so long as it's connected to your master clock, synced with the master clock. So that's a little trick there. And if you do decide to download this sound, then you can sort of follow along and make your own version of it. All right, let's take a look at this sound on the Nord Electro 6. Okay, now the Electro 6, we have a single layer to play with or a single sample synth engine. Uh, what we have is it's using its own natural delay. I don't have much choice on the feedback amount. I have choice 0, 1, 2, or 3. I've got it on choice 1. And here's how it sounds. I think this could use a little reverb. All right.
If you're curious about how I created this sound for the Nord Electro 6 or you want to download it directly, it's available at mykeystomusic.com in the course called Master the Nord Electro 6. So I wonder what was going on in Paul McCartney's mind when he created the sound for this song. Do you think he was tweaking the mod envelope so that he could create a sticky sound? And then what made him think to use the digital delay on eighth notes to carry that rhythm by hitting the notes once and then carrying that rhythm through? And then the jazz chords that he chose are very interesting. I mean, you don't think of the Beatles or Paul McCartney as playing much, you know, by way of jazzy chords as a rule. But this one is particularly jazzy and very interesting nonetheless. And it was created back in 1979 and it still holds up today, in my opinion. And it, you know, comes back to us every holiday season. So that's why we get requests for how do we create this on the Nord Stage 3 and the Nord Electro 6. There you have it. It's just something about a good song that lasts through the ages. Well, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season as we end 2021 and head into 2022. I appreciate all the support and everything that you guys have been doing and talking about in the comments, and you guys have just been wonderful. It's been a lot of fun, and we will continue with this content uh, around the Nord keyboards, and I've got some fun stuff planned around MIDI, and we'll introduce some other devices here to keep things interesting. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.